Hello, my name is Robert John Burton and I go under the handle hashtag Arthur Aspie. I hope you do not mind me reading this as I have some of the difficult phenotypes associated with Asperger's syndrome. I have a deplorable short-term memory and I do have a speech impediment which gets worse if I start to feel anxious so looking at text helps me. This is uncomfortable for me. I have not long been on YouTube but have uploaded nearly 90 odd videos under my art and my Asperger's to showcase decades of art practice and discussing autism as it affects me. Other playlists include Bike With Me, where I show off the tropical Queensland city I live in, horses, music to lift spirits, surviving post-traumatic stress disorder and depression, as I was a victim of much abuse when younger that has psychologically and physically scarred me. There are playlists of noted people with Asperger's such as Mary Temple Grandin and others like Associate Professor Tony Atwood who have studied the traits of this form of autism. I subscribe to many different types of YouTube with many different types of vlogs. The ways of the neurotypical have not been mine and growing up was difficult. What do you want to be when you grow up? Disinterested adults would ask. I was too odd to be taken seriously. Other children came up with the classic answers like football player, doctor, soldier or musician. But I could not come up with anything. The future was an unknowable and a dangerous place full of violent adults and bullies. My parents weren't up to much and I was left alone for long periods. I was abused by strangers. Often I tried hard to be friends with people, but as I am mind blind to others, I miscalculated who were worthy friends and who were users and abusers. This does not mean I do not value people or do not understand the hard lives of others. It just means I can cope well on my own. Life as a growing adult was an alien land and it took far too long to have my diagnosis of autism. Although earlier many people noted my disability, nothing was normal for me. I could wish to have not been shouted at by teachers, berated by my parents, berated by relatives, bullied by older kids, not to be such a misfit and to have some friends. And this continued well into my adult life. Anxiety is fear. My communication just always went wrong. Certainly, I was an easy target for manipulators and was often scapegoated. Eventually, I understood my inner dialogue was not always mine. So being able to express myself better was the first step in the right direction. Although I had the intellectual smarts of Asperger's Syndrome, I had no well-developed theory of mind that helps us solve conflicts, develop social skills, plan life and reasonably predict other people's behaviour. As I age, I get irritated by noise, the loudness of so many today, shouting conversations while centimetres apart, or using mobile phones everywhere. It bothers me that others expect me to understand their mind games or intrusive intentions. Then tell me off to put me in my place. Mind you, always for my own good. Do not think so. You've only put yourself into a deplorable place. I live on my obsession, so I did artwork intensely for decades. Also, I built gardens in the hot tropical sun until my skin became cancerous. I worked as a great follower and committee person selling my time and effort for little pay. It would be great to sit here and say that I have made it, but I do struggle. I have regular meltdowns. There are days I am tired of this neurotypical world as a person with autism. There are days I am angry at the world where I missed out on so many things that others take for granted. We live in a competitive world and compare ourselves with other people without ever knowing about their journeys, beginnings. Yes, I 
do understand the world better now. I do get the help I need. I get to pursue my interests and have enjoyed a little success with my artwork and university studies. It is interesting to see the world as having an autistic meltdown with the coronavirus, environmental degradation and social unrest. Many more people will understand that life cannot be taken for granted and so easily planned. I wonder if the kids from my childhood, including my siblings, had their wishes come true. In this regard, maybe I am my own success story. Things are tough. I am a proven survivor and my mantra, just keep going, means giving up is not on my agenda. The anger I have about my past also makes me more determined to have a workable present and I plan my future better now to ensure I am safe. We exist to challenge ourselves and to take nothing as given. Certainly it is very unwise to let others make too many decisions for one. I encourage you to keep going and to keep on keeping on. Maintain your momentum through painful times and research how others have endured terrible places and ages. Humans can be thoughtless and cruel if they think no one will know. Be brave and reach for something worthwhile. It is the journey, never the destination. Celebrate your victories as they will be rare even if you have to pat your own back because no one is there. Being on the autism spectrum means I've had to make too many understand. Life is not always blissful, and this life, like all modern stories, will have many possible endings. However, our accomplishments never belong to just us because we do not have absolute ownership. Constantly congratulating each other invalidates human purpose and those that need constant reassurance will always be disappointed. It is a bottomless pit. Neurodiverse people have the important offering of finer emotional connections. That is, our emotions work differently. They are not absent. Actually, it is emotion which has always moved me most deeply to cry in myself as a way of dissent. Sometimes the righteous indignation is mine, not to those that look to always find fault with me. Sometimes I know of a prideful solidarity with many neurodiverse people who have endured injustice silently or in great misunderstood anguish. This is my life. Thank you for listening.